Hi everybody. I'm here to try and make a little video. This has been the, the greatest last couple of days of my life because of my granddaughter coming down and her husband and my two great grandchildren. And they, I must say, are great. Well, they're next door right now. They may show up over here in a minute, but they're because they're in and out, which is fine. And, but anyway, I wanted to show you, I got mail, I had to show you that, and um, because I haven't looked at it really yet, but I've been doodling, because I have to sit in my chair a lot, so I've been starting to doodle, but so, but I do like doodling, this is one of my ladies that I made, she's cute, I'm inspired from this here book, Taking Flight, and it's, um, inspiration and techniques to get your creative give your creative spirit wings and there's so much in this book i really like this book and so but and that's why her head's crooked because that's this lady draws crooked heads and then i have this one too this one has wings a little crooked head and i put little um quotes I actually do the quotes first, because see, here's another one I'm doing now, and I put the quotes first, and then draw around, <coughs> excuse me, I draw around the quotes then, and so, but I think she's turning out pretty. I do it, oopsie daisies, I don't care. Um, I do it first in pencil, and then I go over the pencil, and with um, mock permanent markers. Okay, but anyway, this I'm doing too. I did this out of clay. I made a skirt and a shirt, and I'm going to do painting and stuff on this, and I'm going to work on that. Okay, let me move that. Okay. Now, I have mail today. Today is my happy mail day, because I just got so much happy mail. Well, this here, I had bought this book. I had bought this book at a sale, but part of the book is missing because it's just so old, but it's a dictionary. A favorite, the favorite pictorial dictionary, and it's really, really old. But I bought it because I want the pages, because look at the pages in there, how old, and um, they're just beautiful, beautifully aged, and so then, I'm going to take those pages out and use them in art, but then I'm going to make a journal from the book. It's so small. It's only four inches by four, four inches by five inches. So that's going to make a beautiful journal. Now let's get to that happy mail. Now this happy mail comes from none other but Laura. Laura Vasquez. Laura Vasquez. She's in Cameron Park, California. See this? This is exciting too. I gotta show you this. Just a minute. There's squirrels all over the place. Um, just a minute. Just a minute. This here. In, this is just the start in this box of my, and I'm calling it my friends. But what I'm doing now, see, this is here a book, a, a journal that has started for all my friends in Virginia. So in here, I will end up putting information about my friends in Virginia. If I get happy mail from somebody in Virginia, there'll be a page but even if I don't get happy mail if I hear of somebody from Virginia their name is going to go in here and this one I have started for Mississippi I got this one is Mississippi and I already have something in this one from from um, my friend Alicia Alicia sent me some happy mail and so that started for that one so everybody that's from uh, Mississippi will go in that one. And here I have one for um, Ohio. 
for my special Ohio friends to give my heart a lift. And this here, I have gotten a letter from Penny Berkey in Ohio. So the letter is in here. Oh, I have to read this to you um, one day. Right now I'm not going to do it. I'll do it on another time. But she sent me information on, um, on the city patchwork quilts. And so that's awesome. And then she had sent me also a picture of one of her quilts. And I put it in, in here like this. And that's beautiful. That's one of her quilts that she did in a city fashion. And so, and that's the um, um, Kawandi, Kawandi quilt. So that's in that book. And then I've got other ones just started. I don't have them, you know, soon they'll be. And all I'm using is envelopes. Their only envelopes are going to be for these. But now that I got this box, my next one I'm going to fix is going to be from California. And I have a lot of friends in California. And so this fat box is mostly fabric, but I do believe there's also going to be some things in this box that, because I'll put fabric in the books too. I'll put everything in, in my friends' books. But I got so many friends in different states and in different countries. So my, my journals won't be anything real, real fancy. They're just going to be envelopes. And I just like to make, to make this one like here, I just put this here one from Ohio. I just got about six envelopes that I just put, I just opened them up and then well, I opened them up folded them, see that's the whole envelope folded in half and then I just sewed right down the center for the um, for the binding and so, but they can get as big as I want because I can keep adding to them but that is what that's my newest thing that I'm doing which I absolutely Okay, so then let's see what we have in this box. All right, already I see a page coming. Because look at here, how cute are those? Oh, how cute, my little pony stickers. Thank you, I love them. And then, oh, and then here's the unicorns. There's unicorns there. And look at this already. Let me see. She's got these. Oh, how nice. <laughs> she goes, Lizzie, I wanted to share with you fabrics from Stacy's sale. I know you are always buying more fabrics. Enjoy, love, Laura Vosquez. And thank you so much. I know it. I just look at how cute is that card. So see, that card will go on a page for my California book. But you know, I've got friends in New Zealand, Australia, um, Denmark, um, Canada. Um, New Zealand, I said that. The UK. So I'm gonna have a lot of books. I just got started with them. So that card that is beautiful look at the laces down here and the threads laces behind the man and woman that's beautiful and she's got it all stitched you can see here how the stitching is that's beautiful and then here she's got um, the paper clips with beautiful paper clips with the, um, I was going to say bunnies, but they're not bunnies, they're um, butterflies. This is, oh, this is, oh, this is a paper clip too. I thought it felt kind of thick, but this is actually the front and the back of a paper clip. 
so you can just clip it on a peach. So that's going to be perfect on my California book. Then it's got the, um, then she has three of these butterfly clips. They are gorgeous. And then this one, is this also a clip? Yep, this one too. That's another one. <laughs> She's got a stamp on the back that says, Better Than Hallmark. Thank you so much, Laura. And look how that, that, look how that goes on there. It's got a paper clip hidden in there. You can't even see the paper clip. But it's in there, and it goes on both sides. And look at all that she's got on that cluster. That is beautiful. That is just beautiful. And then we have... This is two... Um, looks like upholstery samples. That's pr This feels good. Look at the size of that if you were to fold it in half. It would make a perfect um, journal size of a Midori. And there's two different ones. This is pretty. I like this. And then here we have two frames. These are like um, those things. But look at how beautiful images are on them. We could take it apart and have use it use the parts in things which would be adorable and then oh my gosh you know what I think I remember seeing this at one of Stacy's auctions and I bid on it but I didn't win it but look at all of those um, it's it's real uh, well kind of steampunkish it's got all them hot air balloons and it's got the sunshines that's beautiful. That's about a, a fat quarter size. And then, oh, this is very um, silky-like. This is pretty. I love to use the silky-like fabrics in a lot of my, um, I like to like make a ruffle. Make ruffles out of it. And then ruffles hanging from projects. I like to use the silkies. This is all owls on there. That is gorgeous. That is pretty. That is real pretty. Oh, you know what? My air conditioner is probably making... Whoop. There, I turned it off. It was blowing my fabric for one thing. And I'm sure it was... Um, doing other things. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, look at this. This one is really awesome. That looks very um, bohemian color, doesn't it? I love that. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's so pretty. And, um, oh, look at these. I love little things like this because these, I can cut the individual squares out and use them like right now I'm doing a um, Kiwandi style quilt but each one of them has got a square in the middle of one image and but I'm making 10 inch nine and a half inch squares is what they actually are but each one has got a center in it oh and look at this how cute is that these are oh, look at the tinies all of these are separate pieces. And look at the smiley faces. I, ooh, that looks like that would be a scarf. Hmm. I could maybe, I could maybe, look at that. I wonder if, I like them smiley faces. I wonder if I could, How do you do this, Elizabeth? Submit. Submit. I love scarves. Submit. Perfect.
Look at that. See? I like it. I like it. What do you think? I got a new scarf. It's got smiley faces all over it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Now, there's pieces pinned together. A lot of times when Stacy sells her fabrics, there is um, a lot of, and these are all squares of the same size, all pinned together. This is going to be perfect for Kiwandis. To make the Kiwandis, we like small pieces. These are going to be perfect on the Kiwandis. Because they're already cut into small. Look at there with the tennis rackets. They're already cut into small pieces. Oh my gosh, Laura, thank you. Look at that. These ones are all... In yellows and that's another thing I have found on Stacy's packages when she puts them up for sale I hope now that she moved she's still gonna be able to find us because she does the shopping for us she um, is she had been going to a creative reuse store which they've got a few of them all over the country but she lived near one when she lived in Tennessee now she's moved to Illinois or is it Indiana Illinois I think and um and she's not as close to one there so hopefully she does find still a place that she can get good deals because she would get good deals and then pass the deals on to us and so and a lot of times she would get these little packets of fabrics that like and that are pinned together and the pin, ones that are pinned together are like matching and so there's some yellows oh yes and you know what yellow is some of the fabric I've been very short of because and I didn't realize how short of yellow scraps I was um, coming up with until I started doing the one Kiwan I got more than one that I'm working on it at any time but um, I was doing my one Kiwandi where I saw a friend doing hers where she started at the bottom with some blues like the water and then some greens and browns like the ground in the, in the sky and then yellow up like the sunshine coming I mean hers is coming out gorgeous and well I was um, trying to kind of mimic what she was doing of course not just copy but then I thought I don't have very much yellow I was very surprised that I didn't have much yellow so now these just these right here are going to be perfect for that sunset and when you have just scraps like this See, there's more yellow in that, yellow and white. When you have just scraps like this, you just don't mind cutting them up into smaller scraps. And look at these ones here, already cut. That is pretty. That These these will be pretty on a Kiwandi. This is definitely Kiwandi stuff. There's a square of white. And there's some more white and some... This is very colorful. Ooh, that's a strip. When I see a strip, I think about um, snippet rolls. When I see a snip, a uh, strip, I think about snippet rolls. And I love to make snippet rolls as all. Also, um, lately I've been making some with paper, but um, I have made quite a few with fabrics. And I use the strips for that. Some white squares, love squares. And there's some more, oh, that's a, a strip. I wonder if that's one whole strip. And then when you take it apart, then you got all these little safety pins. Oh, this is, look at that, see? Now that's already a very long strip. And so that's already, um, for a snippet roll, it is perfect for a snippet roll. And then once you get that whole thing decorated with different pieces and parts, then you take that, you can just use a snippet of that roll here and there in different projects that you're doing. Like, um, like, like this here, she did these 
These are done in snippets of paper. Oh no, she's got fabric and paper in these. So I love mixing fabric and paper together. See, that's just a snippet of, and there she's got fabric and paper both. And so, and see, that's where I get a lot of inspiration too, is seeing what other people have done. Perfect. These are amazing. Laura, these are amazing. These are just beautiful. <clears throat> I think, now like this here piece, these, these dolls, these dolls that I'm drawing, that I'm being inspired from that one book I just showed you, this is like perfect for a dress. So if I were to just draw the, the um, profile of the dress, it's made so simple. Um, like, see, because when I draw them, the profile of it is so simple. The dress is just the skirt and then the top. But see, if I was to draw the skirt, cut, draw the, cut the skirt out of um, fabric and sew it on, then, um, oh my gosh, and then I can write on strips of fabric and sew them on. I've got a whole new addition to what I want to do. Okay, so anyway, but I love that. I love this piece. That'll make a nice skirt. Oh, this, I believe this is some vintage fabric right here. This, you know what this looks like? Now, I am not a fabric guru. I don't know a lot about fabric. But this, I believe, is what they're calling um, flower sack fabric. Back years ago, they sold flour in sacks. You could get 50 pound bags of flour. I mean, my grandmother bought them that way. That's how she'd buy flour, a 50 pound bag of flour. And it came in a, f a fabric bag is how it was um, it was made and it was made and the fabric in that fabric bag was very tightly made very tightly woven fabric and so because to put flour or sugar in something like that you needed to have a tight weave or you would lose it all but this almost feels like that I love that and so some people can tell just by looking if it's flower sack fabric. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. If that was the skirt and then the pink top. I love doing my paper dolls and um, but the paper dolls don't have to be all completely paper. They can be paper and fabric together. In fact, I think putting the paper and the fabric together really makes for a very beautiful piece of art. I love it. And so there's brown on brown. Pretty. Oh gosh, look. More yellow. Thank goodness for. Oh, this has got little turtles on it. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. There is a lot of fabric in here. This is like a maroon color, burgundy. You know, they change color. Name. There's so many different names of colors. And back, maroon was a very common color when I was in my teens in the 60s. Um, maroon was very common color. And a lot of our, I had a narrow jacket, narrow, Nehru jacket. And it was maroon back in the 60s. You remember them? And it was maroon. But um, flower power and the maroon. But now they call this more like a burgundy or something. There's so many different colors, you just don't even know what they are. So, so I think it's whatever color you want to call them, you're right. These are awesome scraps. Oh, I got to open this one too, because it looks like a, let me see here. It looks like a patchwork kind of a thing. And it is. Look at that. Somebody started sewing together a round piece that was going to go on a quilt or something. They started something there and that is going to be pretty added to one of my quilts. 
because I don't do my quilts like fancy. I don't do anything fancy or anything. I don't do anything that is like a pattern. I my favorite kind of favorite kind of quilt of the old-fashioned quilts is the quilts that were made just a patchwork quilt like all different squares and all the like now this one's got some half squares on them in that one but all the rest of them are just squares and I love just the squares that's one well right now I'm doing a lot of like Kiwandi quilting and um, that kind of thing but um, I love just doing the patchwork quilts and when I would do them back in the day I did quite a few I made the patchwork quilt and instead of quilting it I um, used yarn and then at every intersection I would put a I would tie it so it, it was tied I guess that might be a cheating way I don't know that's the way I did it though Oh, and these are all triangles. So somebody had cut those out to start a, um, a fashioning a quilt together. Oh, I love that these are all little pieces. So that when I have, I want to take all them pins off and put them all in one basket. I love my baskets. And I will, because these will, oh, these are going to be awesome. On, on the Kiwandis. This this looks like it was a whole bunch of pockets. And these always just remind me. These could be from a sewing shop too. They could have come from a sewing shop. Because I did, I worked at two different sewing shops in my very young days. Pixie Playmates was one and Jester Kids Clothes was another one. And you would get a pile like this. You would get a stack like this, like you might get a, a r r left front of a shirt that needed a pocket, a stack of them, and a stack of pockets. And your job would be to sew all them pockets. And, and oh my gosh, I loved working at the sewing shop because I loved playing with fabric. Oh, these are pretty too. It's not quilted, but it looks quilted. That's pretty. That's like a little peach color. And these are, so, oh, look at that gingham. I just love gingham. Gingham is something I don't have a lot of either, but I love gingham. I used to do, oh God, no, I can't think of the word. With gingham, when my girls were little, I would use make them a dress out of gingham, but for the yoke part, the bodice part, I would do something. God, I can't think of the word. But you would use the marks of the of the uh, of the squares to pull it together, and you make it pucker. And I can't think of the word that was called. Some of my words, I've used them all up. So once you use, like, if you got the word automobile, and you're allowed to use the word automobile. 50,000 times in your life after you use it 50,000 times you can't use it anymore so it's gone blue look at these this is amazing Laura this you couldn't have sent me anything better this is beautiful stuff this is beautiful stuff oh my gosh that blue Oh, look at that. It's like looks like the sky. And then that one. Oh, this Oh, this is a, like a strip too. Like a border. That's pretty. Now some of these because I do also sell packets of of fabric scraps where I take Now this is a larger piece right here. And so maybe I wouldn't use this whole thing. So I would take it apart, because this is probably almost a whole, this is more than a fat quarter. But um, I can take it apart and I can um, make smaller packets because then I, I that's how I, um, 
I don't have a Patreon or nothing for my channel, and I um, I don't ask for like handouts and stuff. So the way I do make a little bit of extra to purchase things that I need or that I want, I should say, then um, and that's what I do. Is I got some little packets of things that I make of fabric scraps. Look at this, how pretty that's going to be on something. Somebody already started that. And whoever did this stitched it all by hand. They have them diamonds, like was down there somewhere, and they it's all stitched on by hand. That's very pretty. Look at this red. That is a beautiful red. That is beautiful. Ooh, denim. You know what's hard to find? Let me check here on this denim. I can't believe it. It's not stretch. It's This is not a stretch denim. Every bit of denim that I have is stretch denim. I have been planning, although I just don't get there, to go to the thrift store and see if I can find some blue jeans that are not stretch. Most all blue jeans that you get nowadays is the stretch denim. This is not stretch. And that's what, and this is a good sized piece. This, yes, I love that. That's a good sized piece of, of lemon, not len lemon, denim. Oh my word. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Laura. I mean, she paid for this over at Stacy's sale, and she paid for shipping to have it shipped to her. Then she paid for shipping to have it shipped to me. I appreciate this, Laura, more than I could ever say. These are beautiful colors. Red. Oh, these are good-sized pieces here. They're all the same, but these are good-sized pieces. I think there's at least a ten and a half, a ten by ten square in this, which that's what I'm doing on my my quilt that I'm making now, my small kawandi that I'm using nine and a half inch squares. I start with ten inch squares, but by the time I fold them under and stitch around, then then they come to nine. No, nine inch squares. I start with ten, and then I end up with nine because I switch teach them like a hemming of a half an inch so beautiful 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 light blue oh look at that pretty green this a lot of this fabric looks very very vintage something that you would see years and years ago look how pretty that one is it's like a like a um I don't know. It's it's a green. What what I would call that? Like a mint green. Polka dots. Polka dots. And some of a like a tan color. And a blue. There's more yellow along with some blue. Oh, this is already stitched together too. I I guess I have a lot of projects that I'm working on all together all already, but there is one quilt that I'm making that is all like I've taken different pieces like this that I've gotten from different places and I'm just putting them all together so the whole quilt is turning out to be really um, a whole menagerie of different things. Oh, and look at this. I don't know what you... Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's pretty. What will I do with that? I don't know. Ooh, it's so soft on your skin. That's pretty. I'm thinking... Well, right now I'm thinking about a book cover. A journal cover, but it... That's a pretty large piece, too. It doesn't want to fold because it wants to slip and slide. 
Okay, so we'll just kind of fold it there. And then, that's pretty with the buttons. This pretty. Oh, they're, they're all pretty. Now, I wonder what this is now. This almost feels like a ribbon. So it's like a satin piece. Some of these, are, look at that. I like that. I just love color. But this fabric, this here is, I don't know what that is, but that's, that's that looks like that would be fun to do stitching on to do it almost look it almost feels like linen that's really nice it almost feels like it might be some kind of a a linen oh look at the watermelons watermelons red plaid some more red and pink and chocolate brown can't go wrong with chocolate brown. Ooh, is this wool? I think this is wool. I think this is wool. I'm not sure, but I, this is cool. If this is wool, I can do what they call shibori, um, using buttons and string and wetting this and if it's wool I can do some shibori pieces with this I think it is wool oh it's so soft I think it is wool and so I could do some shibori pieces with this that would be awesome and then <laughs> look how cute is that the little animals Here's some fall fabric. I love fall. I think fall is my favorite time. There's some more of that. Like, it feels like it's ribbon, but it's fabric, but it feels like a satin ribbon, but it's not, well, I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. All I can say is it's beautiful. This is gorgeous stuff. And then, oh, this is nice. It's like a jersey. Oh, that's a big piece right there. That's a really big piece. And that's nice. It's like a jersey, I think. It's really, 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 really nice. Oh, I like that a lot. Look at that big old pile of stuff here. It's like a man's shirt. Oh, look at these little animals. Aren't them cute? These are already small pieces cut. Perfect for my quandi. Piece of flannel. That's pretty. Green. Hmm, so what's this rippity stuff? But it doesn't feel like satin, but it feels, it's just pretty. That's what it is. Or could it be, cause see this feels like it was at one time just plain ordinary um, cotton, but then it feels almost like a polished cotton. And it's, this being stiff like this will be amazing to sew onto onto cards or tags. In fact, I think, because all, all of this is like that. It's all like it's been heavily, heavily starched. And, but this is definitely some kind of, I don't know what it is. It's definitely something, definitely something, that's for sure. And, Look at this stamp. It's a unicorn. And then it's open. Do you see how it's open down here? So it's a unicorn. And it says your name or message here. And so you can just stamp it. Oh, thank you for that. All Night Media. 
That is gorgeous. I'm going to be using this one for sure. And then, in this box is, oh, these are all little unicorns. My great-granddaughter, who, oh, these are still sealed. They're brand new. Oh, I'm going to leave the, oh, this one's not sealed. But they're all unicorn related. They're so cute. And my great granddaughter, she's five. And um, see my necklace right here? She made me this yesterday. I'm never going to take this off. I told her I'm keeping it on forever. I'm just going to keep it on forever. Ever. She made that necklace. She had a, a shoestring. And most of them are pony beads. And she just strung them all on there. And, um... And she made. She kept bringing it over and checking to see if it was the right size. Finally, when she felt she had enough beads on it, she goes, "Now you can tie it and wear it, and it fit just perfect. I love how it fits." So from now on, till the day I croak, you will see this necklace on me. I'm not going to get rid of it. My great, oops, my great granddaughter Ella Grace put it on there. So that's it. That's everything in that box. I am so happy with this thing. And Laura, I am just blessed. Thank you so much. This is amazing. And since I started, I'm going to keep these stiff pieces. These stiff pieces. This too. I think that's wool. And that's going to, if you've ever heard of the shibori stuff where you can actually, it's made, I guess it can be, you can use other fabrics as well, but um, you can use like rocks or um, buttons. I've used buttons only on mine. And so, and you just kind of, put the button on it and then you wrap string around the button and just kind of pull it together and then you wet it all you get the whole thing wet and then you let it dry once it dries then you take the strings off and the the wool has shrunk around that button and so you've got this piece of textured beautiful texture that you can put on your art projects and that's what I'm going to try with that because I tried it with some felt and it didn't and it turned out good it turned out I like it but um, I'm going to I'm going to use that piece that I think I'm pretty sure is wool is those pieces these are gorgeous these are beautiful um, oh man I just these are just gorgeous there is nothing I like better I don't think than scraps of fabric just uh, scrap and Lizzie that's my name I fit my name and so these are nice these are really nice and since I have kind of grown to be doing a lot just in my chair I've got my chair over there it's sort of in a nest because I've got things all around my chair that I can hand sew I gotta put me a can fix a place where I can use my camera over there too right now I'm sitting at my dining room table but um so I do I, I sit here only for a little while and then I have to go and get my get my legs up this is horrible when this well it's just a I guess a life happening but it's not comfortable when your legs start going belly up but um, I mean it's not that bad at least I know I still have legs but I do have to be careful and make sure I I have them up quite a bit. These 
These are just beautiful. So, this is nice. This is just gorgeous. I wonder if I can make flowers out of this. It's almost like a, um, what do you call that, color shift? Because the underside of it is black. And then the top side is that, oh, beautiful. It's just beautiful. You can't fold it, it's unfoldable. There, I kept out all of these pieces that are stiff. Because I think I'm going to work with something, do something with these first. Because I think sewing these to paper is going to be really, really awesome. And, but those are stiff. So I don't know if it's done with starch or, you know, sometimes you can buy polished cotton or you used to be. Love my scarf. My scarf. I don't think that's bad. So, yeah, there's a bunch of that. So, you know what? I think I'm going to now put together my California book because I got one already started there. And I'm gonna, my paper sewing machine is right here behind me. And so I'll be able to start my, um, my California book. So... I'll have a lot of books because I got a lot of friends in different places and but see like I have like Sarah is in California there's so many in California and so that and that's what I'll do too is when I have Sarah's address I'll put that in there I'll put Laura's address in there and um and then it won't only have California things in there I might just find something I want to put in there and that's what I'll do. And so little messages, little quotes, those kind of things. Okay, I'm going to read just a little bit. Thank you so much for staying with me and, and watching. And I always just open my book to see what whatever it opens to. And I'm using Keepsakes from the Salazen Collection. And it says, when, it says, God leads me. When God seems not to answer my prayers for certain things, my faith at first may waver, but soon God's guidance brings new chances for expression, great opportunities, new things I haven't thought of far better than my pleas. What I hoped would happen, God, in his wisdom knows, would bring me hurt and troubles. So God lets the wrong doors close. God knows about my problems and perfectly he leads in paths of love and service that meet my daily needs. I never need implore him for certain things instead. I pray for guidance knowing there is only good ahead. And that was written by Mickey, Mickey Mayer Matheson. And that's pretty. That's a pretty page right there. And so that's my reading for today. And here I have stuff to start my my California book. And I have got so much fabric here. And it's most all going to be on Kawandi quilts for sure. And well, Kawandi is a quilt. It's the name of their quilt. And so we just say Kawandi quilts. But I thank you so much. I ask God to watch over you every step you take and every move you make and keep you safe and keep you happy and humble, secure and healthy and all of those good things, only good things. So hopefully one day um, I'll do a little video here at my table while I have my grandchildren over here, my great grandchildren over here. And, um, and crafting along with me because especially Ella Gray, she loves crafting. And so I might get to I get I might get to show her off. And so okay. Love you guys. Thank you so much, so much, so much. God bless.